Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and gather an email list using the harvester. This is task three. Now for this one, we're actually going to use our parrot security. So go on over to your parrot and open that one up and log in. Once you have logged into parrot with Torres, the password attacker is the username. We're now going to utilize a tool called the harvester. Emails are messaging sources that are crucial for performing information exchange. Now, email IDs is considered by most people as a personal identification of employees or organizations. Thus, gathering the email IDs of critical personnel is one of the key tasks of ethical hackers. So here we're going to gather a list of email IDs related to the target organization using the Harvester tool. This tool gathers emails, subdomains, hosts, email names, open ports, and banners from different public sources such as search engines, PGP key servers, as well as the Shodan computer database and Google, Bing, LinkedIn, and others to extract valuable information from the target domain. This tool is intended to help ethical hackers and pen testers in the early stages of the security assessment to understand the organization's footprint on the internet. It is also useful for anyone who wants to know what organizational information is visible to an attacker. So here we're going to consider Microsoft as the target organization. However, you can select whatever target organization of your choice. So once you're inside your parrot, we're going to open up a terminal. A couple ways you can do that. You can click on uh, the terminal here, or you can right click and do open in terminal here. Once we have our terminal up and running, we're going to go ahead and type in sudo, in this case, su. Now this basically runs the program as the root user. You have to put in the password, which is T-O-O-R. And once we have that, we're good to go. All right, we're in the home attacker desktop. You can also verify this by using a PWD and there's our route. Okay, one of the things we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the root directory. So we're just gonna type in CD. And if you notice now, we're actually at the root directory. Now what we're gonna do here, remember Linux is going to be case sensitive. So just for better viewing here and with our real estate that we have, I'm just gonna clear out the screen so you can see what we're doing. Now that we have the real estate, we can see what we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and type in the harvester. We're gonna do a dash D which specifies the domain name or company name to search. In this case, it's microsoft.com. Here the dash L, what this is gonna do is tell us the number of results to be retrieved. And then we also got to give it the data source, which in this case is a dash B. And we're going to be using Baidu for this one. Once you hit enter, it's going to go out there and try to look for the information there using Baidu. And as you notice here, it came back empty handed and that's okay. So we do have other options. Of course, here we can change it around. So if you want to, we can actually change it to Google. As you can see, we're getting some results here. We also can uh, utilize Bing and Senses, LinkedIn, Twitter, and many others to gather information about our target. Now, remember, this is going to differ in regards to the results that you're going to get based off of, uh, again, what you're looking for there. My suggestion is to try different things to see what it comes back with. So let's say, for example, if we do uh, LinkedIn, you'll notice here that we're going to get some different results. And you notice here for LinkedIn, we were able to get the usernames as well as their, as in the users' names and their title, which is really great. This will be a little indicator there too. If you're looking, let's say for uh, usernames and such, and you notice that their email address is first initial last name, well, now you have a whole listing here of people's first name and last name. And if they're using the naming convention of first initial last name, well, you already have the username. So you can see how this could definitely be very valuable when you're looking um, 
to gather information like this. And again, you can try this on different different uh, companies to see what the results come back with and such there too. All right, remember, use your imagination a little bit. Use some of these techniques that you're learning here during the labs that you can eventually actually utilize in the real world as well. But beware that the results are not always going to be the same because in a lab environment, generally everything works a lot more smoother because it's a lab environment. The real world is not always uh, quite as smoothly <laughs> when you go utilize the tools that you have there. All right, that concludes this section here. Next up, we're going to do gathering information using deep and dark web searching. And we're going to go ahead and use our Windows 11 VM for that. Also, our flag number seven says use the Harvester tool to gather a list of email IDs related to Microsoft organization from the Baidu search engines. Enter the option that specifies the domain or company name to search. Now remember, this was our dash D option, and it is also your answer to your flag there.